Welcome back. In the last slide after I was finished, I realized I didn't explain to you how to get the future value interest factor. And as you should know about me by now, I like to explain everything. So that's what we're going to do here is we're going to calculate this future value interest factor. And I got to make a little room on the screen so we have a little room to work. So I'm going to slide everything down about here. And that should give us pretty much what we need to work. And I got to get my pen back. And so what we need to do to calculate this future value interest factor. Is we need to calculate future value. And future value is equal to the present value it's a funny looking F well I think you get the idea times 1 plus the interest rate so if we set the interest rate to equal R and we take that raised to the nth power that's how we can get our present value. So if we want to get a factor, we set present value equal to 1. And in our example, we had 1.0, we had 1 plus 1% 1 interest per quarter, which is 1.01, and we had 4 quarters. And so our factor, if you calculate that out, should be 1.04 06 and then if you apply this factor which was a thousand dollars up here times this one point I lost my period 1.0406 it'll give you the same result which is 1040.6 that's a zero. Okay, so that's how you calculate this future value interest factor. And uh, so now you have everything you need to know in order to work the problem. We'll see you in the next slide.